Hello my friends, we are here. It is the end of April. I am Rosa, this is Lipstick and Weenie, and these are a few of my favorite things. This month, the, the collection here is quite small, quite well curated, um, but everything in this little collection here today are things that um, are either new to me this month, which have impressed me so much that I've been reaching for again and again and again, or things I've rediscovered. Um, but these are basically my favorite things for this month. And we'll start off with something that I've been wearing almost every single day. Uh, and that's the Quick Flick um, to the Point uh, liner. So this is one of those wing liner stamps. This one here, I really didn't think I would like this one as much as I did. I really thought that I would enjoy, like I bought myself the original uh, Quick Flick uh, stamp in the smallest size, I think it's petite. And while I liked it, I found that it was still, just didn't suit my eye shape all that much. Uh, and when I went to Priceline a few weeks ago, the Priceline event, uh, the showcase, uh, the, quick flick, the Quick Flick were there and they offered to gift me this one, which is, like I said, straight to the point. And I didn't, I just didn't understand how a straight, like, wing would look good. But it is so much better for my eye shape. I've got very, like narrow eyes and so depending on how I place this stamp it makes my eyes just look so much wider and more open today um, I think I angled them a little bit more upwards um, and so it makes my eyes look a little bit more further out which is fine but it's not my favorite I do prefer having them almost straighter out like lower and straighter out so this is what the shape looks like um, it's yeah I just didn't understand how this was going to be flattering but I am complete I was completely wrong I'm absolutely in love with this I've been wearing it like I said almost every single day and I will buy another one of these when this uh, dries out they also gave me uh, the larger size to play with as well and I'm liking that as well so it was my kind of error to buy the smallest thinking that I didn't want anything dramatic but uh, yeah I'm playing with the other ones at the moment and I'm also liking those but these are a winner something that I've rediscovered this month is this this is the voluminous lash paradise now this is one that I picked up while in Hawaii um, over the Christmas break um, but the I think it's exactly the same as what we're getting here in Australia so um, this is just a lovely mascara it really just gives life to my very small lashes and um, yeah I highly recommend you try this one out uh, it's not waterproof but I find that it doesn't smudge too much it looks pretty good side note like when I look at myself in the mirror my eyebrows look more or less like the same like they're obviously gonna be slightly different but more or less the same and when I look at myself in like the monitor one looks so much more arched than the other that's so weird it's freaking me out uh, if you've kept up with me on Instagram this month, you'll know that I decluttered my entire collection and I got rid of so many foundations that were either expired, close to expiry, I wasn't using or just didn't match me. So I had to go to Sephora and purchase a few more foundations just so I had a little sort of bit, a bit of a range of things to use. So I picked up two new to me foundations and I picked up a replacement of the Estee Lauder Double Wear because my ride or die. And one of them's worked out really, really well, and the other one, not so much. So the one that's worked out really well for me is the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation. And um, I just, there's something about this that makes my skin look incredible. It's very, it, I would say it's like a satin finish, so it's not very matte, also not very glowy. But there's, again, I just, I think for more mature skin this is something you might want to try it's a little pricey and i have a bit of a love-hate relationship with the packaging but what's inside is just gold there's a bit of a color theme going with my favorite it's all pink or purple or like goldish um sort of pink the fenty pro filter powder i purchased this um again just because i saw it as a mini it's an impulse purchase which i'm not doing this year but whatever but I've uh, actually grown to absolutely love it it's just um, it looks really nice on the skin and it actually doesn't I often think that powders make me look quite dry under the eyes because I do have um, a lot of lines and stuff under there uh, but this one just makes me look really good I like the scent I, I typically don't love scented products but I do like the scent of this I purchased I purchased the shade butter um, I think there were only two or three shades available in the mini um, and butter was the one that looked best for me and I really highly recommend that you try this one I think it's a beautiful product I haven't tried heaps and heaps from Fenty pretty much the powder the lips two different lipsticks actually the three different lip products the gloss bomb 
the Fenty Mademoiselle, Mademoiselle, sorry, and then the liquid lippies, um, and the liquid lippies, yeah, and so, um, I like all three of those, I like the highlighters and the powder, so, yeah, I've liked pretty much everything I've tried, I'd like to try the bronzers and the foundation next, um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see, I've got a lot of stuff still to finish, so I can't be buying too much stuff, but yeah, this is one that I really, really like, and I do recommend this one. On to a couple of skincare products that I have really, really liked this month. The first one was sent to me, it is the Face Base Vitamin E Day Cream. It is almost a day cream and primer in one. It does this thing where it leaves, I assume it's the lanolin in the product, um, so it um, leaves a bit of a film on your skin which keeps the hydration in and then also creates a really nice smooth base for your foundation. This one made me like it left a really hydrated all day kind of feel to me so it felt like it just kept hydrating. Um, yes yeah, so this is one that is available now and it's um, probably best suited to drier skin and I feel like it's probably going to be a little bit heavy for me in summer but in winter and for an overnight kind of um, sleep mask brilliant another super hydrating uh, product it looks like I've barely used this but I promise I have um, this is the re this is the Revita Lixa Recovery Serum from Murad and it's really interesting and it's got all these really cool little balls of serum and I was hoping that as it came out as it was pumped out it would um, like you could see this little balls and stuff but it does mix it all up together and you get this kind of like um, opalescent type look to the product and it's so it's very like slippery when you put it on it's really really slippy and slippery and um, it doesn't feel like it's gonna do all that much but as it settles into the skin it just it makes you feel so hydrated and um, I often as you saw there I often uh, use too much I often pump out too much um, and end up taking it all the way down my neck and it just feels so good and it's one of those products that I'll wear around the house when I'm not wearing any makeup and my skin just glows and it looks and feels so healthy and refreshed so that's something that yeah again Murad's a little on the pricey side uh, but I there's, look I think I've tried a dozen products from the line and I think there might have been like one that I didn't love and it was a mattifying thing and I typically don't love that sort of product anyway um, but everything else it's just a really high quality brand and that's it um, I'm being a lot more careful with what I love and more selective and more I guess uh, not harsh but yeah I just I'm I'm not sharing stuff that I'm not absolutely loving at the moment. I only want to share with you the best of the best. So that's it for this month. I hope that you have had a great month and I'd love to know what you uh, love this month and put it down in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for joining me as usual and I'll see you next time. Bye.